Oh yeah, it's so sweet. Level 40, it's official. I can finally wear this badge. Level 40, I am finally there. I grinded <laughs> so much in the past couple days. It was so intense and I really wanna shout out the official verified level 40 trainers crew that hooked me up. They helped show me the way. I have so many things to tell you and show you over the past couple days that I did. I've got so many videos coming out. I'm so excited to show you what this crew is all about. It's not just about being level 40. It's about being a leader for your community. This group of trainers, they, ha they have so many impressive people. These people have over like 100,000 XP, some of them. A lot of them were like the first trainers in their cities to ever hit level 40. I am so impressed and honored to be part of their crew. Well, actually, I'm not officially part of their crew yet. You have to go through an extensive and vigorous series of checks to get into their club. So it's not just anything or anyone that can get in. You can't just be level 40. It's actually a really, really serious process that you have to go through in order to get in. So I'll be doing a separate video on that that I'll tell you guys later as I apply for it myself and we can all go through it together so you can see how you actually make it into this club. So please subscribe and stay tuned on how to officially get into the level 40 club. This thing is a worldwide thing. I need to tell you about Community Day. This 24th, that's this Saturday, it's all about Dratini. Oh yeah, did you know that Dratini is gonna have an exclusive moveset, Draco Meteor, as the charge move? Now, is Draco Meteor really that much better? Well, no. Honestly, we all know that Dragonite's best moveset is Dragon Tail Outrage. However, Draco Meteor does pack a punch. It's not quite as uh, fast as Outrage, but it is just as powerful, and actually it is more powerful. Let's take a look at stats real quick. All right, the first thing that we all know is Dragon Tail Outrage is the first most powerful move that your Dragonite can know right now. It's extremely strong. Outrage has a base power of 110 points. That's really tough. The move cooldown is only 3.9 seconds. That means it takes less than four seconds to power this move back up. Not only that, but Outrage's DPS, that's damage per second, is 28.21. That means you're doing 28.21 damage per second to that other Pokemon. That's a really tough move. But now let's look at Draco Meteor right there. Draco Meteor has a base power of 150. So it's already got a base power stronger than Outrage. The move cooldown for Draco Meteor is 3.6 seconds, so it's actually cooled down faster than Outrage. Draco Meteor's DPS, that's damage per second, is 41.67. That is a lot more than Outrage. However, the difference that you really need to pay attention here is that look at the charge bar size on Outrage versus Draco Meteor. Outrage has two charge bars, and Draco Meteor has one charge bar. So you can kind of relate to, for example, like Solar Beam. It takes a long time to power up Solar Beam because it's such a huge charge bar. But when you finally fire off that Solar Beam, you're getting a lot of damage in. Whereas Outrage has two charge bars, so you're gonna be able to fire off more attacks faster, but it's not gonna be doing as much damage as Draco Meteor. So ultimately, what moveset do you really want your Dragonite to learn? Honestly, the answer is both. A lot of people are collecting legacy moveset Pokemon. Who remembers when your Gyarados used to know Twister? I used to have a Gyarados Twister, but before I realized that legacy movesets were a thing in Pokemon Go, I changed all my Gyaradoses that used to know Twister into now like Waterfall or Hydro Pump or something else because I thought they were gonna be stronger. And yes, Twister was weaker. However, the Pokemon Go is constantly changing and evolving. I highly suggest that you take at least two really strong, powerful Dragonairs and evolve them during Community Day, guys. Remember, you only have three hours of Community Day time to get your Dragonite to learn Draco Meteor. And remember that you can't use Charge TMs on Dragonites that you already have to teach it Draco Meteor. So what that means is you need to be pineapping every single Dratini that you find on Community Day. Make sure you collect enough candies for your Dratini or Dragonair so that you can evolve it all the way up into a Dragonite. That's the only way that you can have it learn Draco Meteor. And that's great news too because that means only a few Dragonites are gonna end up learning Draco Meteor unless you are like a drag Dragonite Dratini candy hoarder and you have like a billion Dratini candies. I'm sure a lot of people don't, but that also means that Dragonites with Outrage are also gonna be very common still. So I would, like I said guys, I highly suggest getting both Dragonite movesets. Get a Dragonite with Draco Meteor, get a Dragonite with Outrage. We don't know how long Outrage will be until it's also Legacy. So keep that in mind as you're going around capturing as many Dratini as you can on Community Day. Speaking of Community Day, let's talk about prizes that I can give out to you guys at the Sprint Store 
while we're there in San Diego. Yes, Sprint is hooking us up. They have created an amazing event at San Diego this community day, February 24th, all the way from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. We've got tons of things happening. Trader Tips is gonna be there. Jorge and Tong from Reality Changers is gonna be there. I'm gonna be there. All the awesome Sprint people are gonna be there. It's gonna be lit. Let's talk about what we're gonna do. All right, this entire event is kicking off at the San Diego Sprint Store. It's located at 8440 Rio San Diego Drive. Everybody's gonna meet there, including myself and Trader Tips and Reality Changers. We're gonna be there from 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. to get everybody checked in. We're gonna be doing Silk Road handshakes. So make sure that if you haven't registered on the silkroad.com yet for your traveler's card, please guys, help us out. Register online for that before you come. And by the way, if you haven't set up your Sprint Trainers account yet, register online on Sprint for your Sprint Trainers card as well because you have to have a Sprint trainers account to be eligible for any of these prizes now once the registration and all the meet and greets and handshakes and self handshakes are done we're gonna head over to the park at 11 a.m till 2 p.m and remember 11 to 2 is when the community day event is kicking off so make sure you pay attention for which time zone your community day is going to be because it's different for all over the world. For example, in Philadelphia here, it's gonna be later on. So if you're in California, it will be 11 to two. So pay attention to what time zone you're gonna be eligible for for your community day. It's very important that you pay attention because only during those couple of hours, those three hours, is the only time that you will be able to evolve a Dratini into a Dragonair and a Dragonair into a Dragonite which can learn Draco Meteor. You can only have your Dragonite learn Draco Meteor during this three hour window. Maybe it'll be available again in the future, but right now this is the only way that your Dragonite can learn this moveset. Is it that much better than Dragon Tail Outrage that we have currently for our best movesets for Dragonite? No, not really, but it looks really, really cool. And not only that, but it is really strong. So like I said, at that park, it's called Civita Park. That's C-I-V-I-T-A Park. It's a brand new park, it's beautiful. Niantic has added Pokestops to it because it is a brand new park. This thing is gonna be lit, guys. Between all the lures that I'm gonna be putting up and Sprint's putting up and everything else, and just having Dratini event day there period guys this event is gonna be amazing we can't confirm if it's gonna have shiny dratini or not but i'm willing to bet um that it is gonna be a niantic just so you guys know like people are gonna riot if it's not shiny so <laughs> it's probably gonna be a shiny dratini but the even more exciting thing guys is this amazing moveset draco meteor i think it looks sick because we've already seen salamence using this in pokemon go if you haven't seen what Draco Meteor looks like from a Salamence. It's just a bunch of amazing meteors raining down. It just looks so cool and it's a really powerful move. So after we're done at Savita Park catching all those amazing Dratinis, we are taking ourselves back to the Sprint Store at 8440 Rio San Diego Drive, where we're gonna be collecting up all the information of how many Dratinis you caught, like the biggest Dratini, the smallest Dratini, the highest CP Dratini, all these different Dratini stats, and we're gonna put you guys to the test. We're gonna see who caught what Dratini, and that's how the prizes are gonna be awarded. Like I said, you have to have a Sprint Trainers account, and not only that, but you have to register at the Sprint store between 9 a.m. and 4 p.m. If you roll up to the event at like 4 or 1 p.m. and you didn't register yet, sorry, you're not gonna get any prizes. So guys, please make sure, if you are trying to win some prizes, register at that Sprint store before 4 p.m. on Community Day. I would even suggest to register as soon as possible before we even get to the park between 9 and 11 a.m. because Sprint has already said they're gonna start giving out prizes at 2.30 p.m. starting at the store after we get back from the park. So that means that if you haven't registered until 3 p.m., you've already missed the first window to get a prize. 50 winners are gonna have the chance to win a Go Plus. That's amazing, 50 people are gonna be walking away with the Go Plus. I'm Rarity Jelly, that's awesome. Then on top of that, a few winners are gonna have the chance to win $100 in Poke Coins. That is fantastic. $100 in Poke Coins, Sprint, you rock. And on top of that, some grand prize winners are going to have the chance to win $50 in an Amazon gift card. Wow, this is fantastic. And it's all because you just showed up and caught a bunch of Dratini. It's incredible. I mean, you're gonna be out there catching Dratini anyway, right? Might as well show up to this event, say hi to me and Trainer Tips, get your Silk Road handshakes, and win a bunch of sweet prizes while you're at it. I know I'm gonna be having a ton of fun there. I can't wait to meet everybody, especially all the people who were there for the Santa Monica Poke Fest. I can't wait to say hi to all of you guys all over again. We're gonna have so much fun. And not to mention, I know that Reality Changers 
Jorge and Tong. They're planning on going raiding after the entire event, after five o'clock. Let's do this, let's make it happen. I'm so excited to see everybody out there in San Diego. I can't believe I'm lucky enough to go back to California already. I love all of you guys so much. I can't wait to see all my friends. Guys, it's gonna be lit. Oh man, community day and all the future community days. I can't wait to travel around and see everybody. Let me know, like I said guys, in the comment section below if you want me to come to your city for the next community day. And by the way, I also heard that uh, Mystic7 and Trainer Tips are now racing to level 40. You know that I just hit level 40. So tell me in the comment section below, are you team Trainer Tips or team Mystic7? Just for fun, just for fun. We all know it's just fun. I love both of them. Tell me what you guys think. I can't wait to see you. And thank you so much for your patience. So many videos to show you from Florida. They're gonna be coming soon, as soon as I can get all this editing out. But now I gotta go get ready to catch my flight that's happening in a few hours. Oh man, see you guys soon.